Hi everyone, welcome you all. In our previous class, uh, we have seen how we can set up environment for Cypress on Mac and Windows. So in the today's video, we are going to see how we can write a basic test case and how we can execute on Cypress. So we also installed VS Code Editor where we can write our uh, Cypress test cases. And if you look at the folder structure, we have mainly Cypress folder, which is also having node modules and some configuration files also available here, like Cypress config.js, package log.json, package.json. So we will discuss about this configuration files in the coming sessions. And today we will mainly focus on Cypress folder. And if I look at here, there is one more folder called E2E, end-to-end -end testing folder. So all the tests we are going to create under this particular folder, E2E folder. And also we have seen in the last class how we can launch our Cypress application, then how we can see all the specs. So for example, uh, if you expand this end-to-end -end folder, these are the sample tests they have given uh, by Cypress. These are all sample tests. So in Cypress, we call them as a specification files. Normally we call them a test cases and test to source, right? Similarly, in the Cypress terminology, we call them as a specification files. So from now onwards, we are going to call them as a spec files. Now each spec file contains a multiple test to suites and tests we can create, multiple tests we can create in each and every spec file. Now this is the main folder, E2E folder in which we are going to write our spec files. And by default, they have given uh, sample spec files. If I just look at here, getting started and, and also under advanced examples, they have given so many uh, sample or example spec files. So we don't need to do anything with them. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to delete these two folders because we are going to create our own spec files. So let me just delete them for now. And then let me also delete this one. All right. So once it is done, so we have only end-to-end. Uh, -end. So let me just refresh our project. Yeah, now we can see only end-to-end -end folder. So currently we don't have anything under end-to-end -end folder. So to launch our Cypress application, so first we need to go to the terminal and in the command window, we can simply write a command called npx cypress open. So this particular command will open your Cypress application. npx cypress open. So here we have selected end-to-end -end testing and currently these are the browsers which are there in my system which will automatically detect by your Cypress. On whichever browser you want to execute or test, you can just choose that particular browser and say start end-to-end -end testing in Chrome. Now, if I just look at here, Chrome application, uh, you can see there are two tabs are given, scaffold example specs. And when you create this, sample examples have been created. And if I just look at the specs here, currently I don't have any specs created because you already deleted them. So when you click on the first one, which will automatically create a sample specification files. Now we already deleted them earlier. So now we are going to create a new spec file, new empty spec file. So for that, I'm just clicking on this, create a new empty spec file. And here, this is an extension, spec.cy.json. So you can give any name to the specification file, but the extension should be cy.js. Okay, so this is the extension should be given and the name of the spec file can be anything. So for example, here I'm giving my test my test dot cy dot js so i'm just click on create spec so once you click on it you can just notice here the sample code which is automatically created and uh, even in the vs code editor also you can just look at here there is a sample file which is automatically created same thing which is reflected so whatever it is created in the cypress app the same code is reflected in your vs code editor so you can just close this like this. Also, we can create a new specification file every time from the Cypress app. We can create a new specification files. And this is not every time recommended. But if you want to create a new specification file, we can directly create without launching the Cypress app. So how we can create in the VS Code editor itself, we can create. Let me just clear my terminal. So this is a file which is created through Cypress application. Now I'm going to delete this once again because we want to create our own specification file inside VS Code. So N to E, so E to E folder, we are going to create all the specifications. So let me create my own specification file and right click on this, 
take the new file and here I'm giving file name as my first test or my first test dot cy dot js this is the extension of the file cy dot js so once you created which is given empty file which doesn't have anything and once you created this empty file which will automatically reflected in the cypress application now if i just go to terminal and again specify npx open the new terminal once again new terminal yeah now here you can type npx cypress open so once you open your cypress application the same file whichever we created in vs code which will be reflected here you can just go to end to end chrome and can just look at here in the specification you will automatically uh, look at your first test dot cy dot js Okay, just a moment. Let me run one second. Just close this. I'm closing my app. Let me clear it. And launch new terminal. And then open new Cypress app. NPX Cypress open. It will just open Cypress application. And other than this, it won't do anything. So the same test, which whatever we created in the VS Code editor, same thing is reflected in the Cypress app. If I just go here, end-to-end -end testing, start e 2 a testing in Chrome. Now here, it will open all the specification files, whichever we created under E2E, which will be displayed in this browser. Right, so here you can see the same test, whatever we created under E2E, the same thing is reflected in the Cypress application. So once you click on this, it will start executing. But so far we haven't written any script inside the file. Now what we can do is let's close this Cypress app. Now let us try to implement the steps. So let me just clear my terminal. So currently we have an empty file. So my first test.cy.js, I currently don't have anything. Now we need to write our tests, multiple tests inside the specification file. So before that, we need to know how to write the syntax, like what kind of syntax we have to use to write the Cypress test. So by default, Cypress will follow a Mocha framework to write all our tests. Okay. So by using Mocha, how we can write our own test. So to write our test, first of all, we need to follow a syntax. So if I just go to their official website, uh, let's say Cypress io and they have clearly given the syntax if i just go to the docs and end-to-end -end testing and here you can see writing your first end-to-end -end test if i just go here they have given the syntax like this so this is syntax so this is basically called as an arrow function in javascript and without arrow function also we can write by using function keyword so this is a describe block and which contains a it block so let us copy this index and try to understand what exact it is so by using this syntax we can write our own test so describe is a keyword where you can specify the suit name so here we can specify the suit name and bracket is representing a function this is an arrow and this function we need to implement inside this so in the describe we can have multiple it blocks this is one block actually so this is a suit name and uh, this it block is it for writing the test. Let's say this is my test one. So like this, we can write any number of tests. Let's say test one, test two, test three like this. So you can include any number of tests inside a one describe block. So if we just try to understand this. So this is the first parameter for the describe and which says a suit name. Normally we specify the suit name and a comma. And this is a bracket and arrow and arrow is uh, symbolic of uh, arrow function in Java and this is a starting block actually this is a starting point of uh, function arrow function and this is the ending block curly brace and this is a, another bracket so that should be in the next line or in the same line so this is a describe block 
and the same function we can also write in another way so let me for now i'm just removing these blocks currently i have only one block and later i'll show you how to write multiple it blocks so same function you can also write uh, by using function syntax so instead of arrow we can just remove the arrow and here you can just type function okay so this is also the same syntax instead of function keyword you can just simply say arrow or instead of arrow you can simply say function keyword so both are correct syntaxes you can specify the test by using this one or by using this particular syntax so here this is a suit name and here the test one test two test three we can create any number of it blocks so this it block is also having same syntax which is followed the uh, suit describe section you can see here and these are curly braces after a remark and here after a remark these are again curly brace i can also keep this curly brace in the next line and bracket in the next line so this is the actual block of the function and here also you can keep this curly braces next line and you can put it here and this is the actual implementation of it block and here also instead of arrow you can simply say function function so in javascript we can create functions in two different ways by using function keyword and by using arrow function so cypress will support both the approaches either we can write all the tests by using syntax this or else we can write the syntax like this okay now let's go to the vs code editor and then we will see how to write the a simple test so on the under a2a folder we already created my first test right so inside this we need to create so for that what we need to do we need to first write the describe section so let me write a describe here i say describe right so when you say describe uh, you can directly write syntax or you can just directly copy paste from their website first time i'm copying this arrow function directly and keep it here so this is syntax they have provided right so this is a describe or else we can also write by using function keyword so if you want to write another describe you can just write like this instead of arrow you can just remove this arrow and simply say function and this is also correct so instead of arrow you can simply say function so you can follow either this approach or you can follow this approach anything is fine so first of all let me just follow this one arrow approach now go here and this is my test name i can just give my first test and arrow function so here we can specify the name of the test let's say this is my test one and here we need to write all the steps here we need to write all the steps so this is currently we have one small assertion and let me remove this assertion for now okay so this here we need to write all the steps all the steps we have to include in this block it block suppose i have to write multi another test same thing you can just copy here and write another entry this is another test this will become another test and again this will become another test so now this is a test one you can say this is a test two and this is you can say test three so one spec file can have n number of suits n number of describe sections or we can say describe blocks every describe block can have multiple it blocks every it block is representing one test okay now for now i'm just removing this now this is a simple very basic block so let us try to implement some tests here so first of all i'll try to launch an application so to launch our application uh, we have certain commands provided by cypress so all the commands we will able to access by using one module called cy so this is a, uh, a root module or we can say root package in cypress and by using the cy we will able to access all the commands from cypress so we can say cy dot this cy dot and visit is a command visit cy dot visit and in the bracket we specify the application url application url so i'm going to write an application url here which is orange hrm demo application this is a url i want to launch so let me also launch that application so this is my orange hrm application so i want to check as soon as you launch my page i just want to verify the title of this particular page 
So I need to insert one assertion. So to insert an assertion, we have uh, we have to write one command. First, we need to capture the title of the page, right? So for that, we need to use cy dot title. So this will return the title of the current web page, and this particular title, this particular title, uh, should be so we can access uh, title is a method. So in this the title will be written and once you return the title that should be equal to something else we need to compare that so for that we need to call one more method called should and here we need to specify one keyword called equal eq and in the second parameter we specify the you can use single quotations or double quotations no difference in javascript so here i'll specify the title of the current web page that you can say like this so this is one assertion so I just, as soon as I launch my page, I have put one assertion. This will verify the title of the page is orange HRM or not, it will verify. So like this, we can write a small test. So this is a small test I have written, very basic test. So if I try to understand this test, so we have created first and just remove this part. So we can just create a describe and this is a name of the suit and arrow function and inside the it block, we specify the test one and this is the implementation. Suppose if I want to write another test, simply can copy the same it block and write another test like this. I write another test. So this is my first test. So these are another test. So I can say test one and I say this is my test two. So here we verify the uh, title of the page and here also we are verifying the title of the page, but I make this as a negative test. Let's say I'm changing the description here. Test one is what? Verify title. Title. This is positive test. I'm saying this is my positive test. And uh, here, I'm removing this for now. So here also, I'm verifying the title with the negative text. I say verify title. This is my negative test. So as per our expectation, the first test should be passed and the second test should be failed. So here I'm just giving some incorrect title so that it should fail. Okay. So this is how we need to first create a specification file. And inside the specification file, we can create one describe block. Inside the describe block, we can write multiple it blocks. So here by default, Cypress will follow Mocha framework to write our tests and all assertions and so on. In the coming sessions, I will discuss more about these assertions. For now, I have just added a simple and very basic assertion. So now we have completed our test. Let me save it. Now we need to run this. So how to run this test? So to run this test, we have multiple approaches are there. The first approach is through Cypress application, we can run this test. The other one is by using command. So in the terminal, we can use one command and through the command also, we can directly run our specification file or spec file. So first of all, let us see how we can run this spec file by using Cypress application. So before that, we need to launch our Cypress application. So how to launch our Cypress application is, again, same command, npx Cypress open. So every time, whenever you launch your Cypress application, you need to run this command, npx Cypress open. So when you open this command, when you run this command, which will launch your Cypress application and we are selecting end-to-end -end testing. And currently I want to execute on the Chrome browser. I'm selecting Chrome and start e 2 testing in Chrome. So once you click on it, it will show you the uh, your end-to-end -end folder along with your specification file. So whatever we created here, the same specification file you can see here. Now we are ready to run. So as soon as you click on this, it will start running your test. Now let me just click on it and see how it is going to run. I'm just clicking on this my test first. So once you click on it, you can see here it is started executing my test. So verifying the title positive is executed and it is got passed. And you can clearly see this window. Right. So now the second one is got failed. If I just look at here, there are two runs are happened. Verify title positive, this is got passed. You can see these are the steps which are executed. And you can just look at the second one, which is got failed. So here it is giving the title is incorrect. Expected is orange HRM, but 
it found orange hrm 1 2 3 so expected and actually is not matched so it is got failed so the first one positive test is got failed the second one negative test is got positive test is got passed and the second one negative test is got failed so this is a one way of running your specification file through cypress application so one more time i'm going to show you so let me just clear the window as soon as you created your test just you need to write your cypress application for that you need to run this command npx cypress open so npx cypress open will open the cypress application go to end-to-end -end testing select the browser whichever you want to run and then it will show you a test or specification file currently created just click on it and once you click on it it will start executing your tests which are created under describe block so currently two tests we have created verify title positive verify title negative so both have been successfully executed first one is passed second one is got failed so this is the way we can execute our test this is one way to execute by using cypress application now how we can execute this without using cypress application so by using command prompt we can still execute the test so to execute this test through the command prompt we have multiple commands are available so the first command is i have already shown you cypress uh, npx cypress open that's the first command and that will automatically open your cypress application there we have to click on the specification file that will run your test the second test second is through command prompt also we can run so to run the test through command prompt we have to execute this command npx cypress run okay npa cypress open command will open the cypress application from where we can run but this command will directly run your test without opening cypress application npx cypress run so all your tests whatever you created all specification files and each specification files you may have n number of tests all tests will be, will be by default executed through command prompt so now i'm trying to execute nps cypress run so when i execute this command this will execute your specification file now you can just look at here and by default it will follow headless mode because we can't see any ui at the back end it is executed now if i just look at the results in the terminal window now we can just look at this yeah the first one is got passed and the second one is got failed one is passed one is failed and uh, here you can see why it is got failed it is also giving the reason we are expecting this title but it is giving this title this is expected but it is giving another title which is got passed now this is a result table how many tests were executed how many are passed how many are failed everything will be captured here right so this is by default executed in the headless mode means what headless mode in the sense we can't see any ui right but I want to execute this in the headed mode. So I want to see everything on my UI. So in that case, we can execute the same command just by adding one more option called iPhone iPhone headed. NPX Cypress run iPhone hyphen headed. So this particular command will execute your test on the headed mode. So when I execute this, now again observe. So here you can see it is launched my browser. See here, it is executing my test in the browser. You can see here, my first test is already executed and passed. Now my second test is got failed. So this time we're able to see the execution on the browser directly. This is headed mode, headless and headed mode. Right, so this is one command which we have. Suppose when you're giving this command, normally what is happening is npa cypress run npx cypress run command by default will execute all the specification files which are present in e to e folder suppose you have 10 specification folders all 10 specifications folder will be executed automatically by using this command npx cypress run but now i want to execute specific file right i want to execute specific specification file let me have let's say i have 10 specification files under e2e folder now i want to execute specific file so then how we can do it nps cypress same command just we need to provide some more options let me clear this same command nps cypress nps cypress run 
And here we specify something called iPhone iPhone spec. iPhone iPhone spec. This is a command. iPhone iPhone spec. Right. So iPhone iPhone spec. And then we need to specify the path of your specification file. So the headed mode is optional. If you want to keep it, you can keep it or else you can just remove for now. So npx cypress run. If I execute this command by default, what happens? It will run all the specification files which are available in E2E folder. But now I want to execute specific specification file under is E2E. Then iPhone iPhone spec. Here we need to specify the location of the specification files. So currently I want to execute this particular specification file. Now right click on it, get the copy relative path and then paste it over here. So now this is a specification file. Especially I want to execute and by default it will execute in again headless mode, right? So I want to execute in headed mode. Then you can again specify iPhone iPhone headless. So first of all, let us try to execute uh, specific to uh, specific spec file. Now let me run this. Now first test.cy.js is got executed. Again, it is running on the headless mode. Okay, now it is got executed and successfully done. So first one test is got failed, one test is got passed. Now, if I just look at the results here, by default, it is taking uh, electron browser. So this is a default browser of your Cypress. So whenever you run your test or specification files, by default, they will execute on electron browser. That is a default browser of your Cypress, right? But now I want to execute my test on some other browser like Chrome or Edge or Firefox. So then how we can do it? So for that, we have to slightly change this command. Let me clear this. NPF Cypress run iPhone iPhone spec. And if you want again, execute same specification file, or uh, like a special file or specific file, you can just specify the path of the file. Or if you want to run all the specification files, you can just remove this part. So this command will run all the specification files which are there in a end-to-end -end folder. Now, the specification file I want to run on Chrome browser, for example, because by default it is taking Electron browser, now I want to execute on Chrome browser. So for that, we need to provide one more option called iPhone iPhone browser, iPhone iPhone browser, I say Chrome. So whichever browser is already installed on your system, Cypress will automatically detect those browsers. If the browser is not available on your system, it will throw an error. So iPhone iPhone browser Chrome. So this particular command will execute your specification file or test on Chrome browser. Let me just run it. But again, by default, it will go to headless mode. You can see here the browser name, version, Cypress version number, browser name, right? By default, it will go to headless mode. Now you can just look at here. One test is got passed. One test is got failed. But now I want to see the UI. So I want to run this in headed mode. I want to run this Chrome browser, but I want to see the UI complete flow. So then we can simply add iPhone iPhone headed. So now our test will be executing on the Chrome browser on headed mode. That means we can see the browser and execution and everything. So let me just run this, which will automatically launch our Chrome browser. Now you can just look at here. Chrome browser is got launched. Then my tests are executing. And the tests are executing within the browser. Now one test is got passed, one test is got failed. So now if I just look at the results here, which is running on Chrome browser in the headed mode, you can see here, this is the Chrome browser and which is executed on the headed mode. Okay. So this is how we will able to create our test inside Cypress and then we will able to run it. So first step, what we have seen, how to create a specification file in Cypress terminology, we call them as a specification. Every specification file contains a describe blocks and every describe block contains a it block. So which will follow like this. So normally uh, in our terminology, uh, what we will say, or we will say test case. And what is test case? 
test suit, right? So test suite contains a test case. What is the test case contains a test case contains a test steps, right? So this is the hierarchy. Now in the Cypress, we call them as a spec, spec file. So we have a specs file. The extension of this is a C, uh, cy dot js. So this is extension of the file. So the spec file contains a multiple describe blocks. Describe blocks. They are all basically test suites. Every describe block we consider as one test suite. And each describe block contains a it blocks. It block. Every describe block contains a multiple it blocks. Every it block is considered as a one test. Okay. Every it block is considered as a one test. So this is the hierarchy we follow in Cypress. So inside the specification file, you can specify n number of describe blocks and inside you can write n number of it blocks. So currently I have written two it blocks. And as I already told you, instead of arrow function, you can also write a normal function also. Suppose if I want to write a normal function, just remove this arrow. And instead of arrow, you can just write function keyword. That is also perfectly fine. It will also will execute. And same thing for describe also. Instead of arrow, you can just remove the arrow. Before the bracket, use the function keyword. So both the syntaxes will support in Cypress. Now let me save it and then clear the terminal. Let me run one more time. How to run it? I'm just trying to run npx cypress run. So this will run our test. So this is how we need to create test on cypress and then we will be able to run our test or we will be able to execute our test in multiple ways. So we have seen through cypress application how we can run and through command prompt also we have a certain number of uh, commands, CLI commands and by using those commands we will be able to run our specification files or run our test. So this is a basic understanding. In the next session, we will uh, try to understand what is what are the different type of assertions will be supported and what are the other commands are available in Cypress and so many things are there. So we will continue discussing on the upcoming sessions. That's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.